Hello, so today I'm going to take a look at a C420 PAPR unit. Um, so the C420 is basically like the NATO gold standard, um, Western countries gold standard PAPR unit. So positive air powered respirator, and so you'd seen the German PAPR unit video I did probably a week or two ago. And this is the one for sort of the bulk standard NATO one, the sort of gold standard one, the C420. So, Again, this was sent to me to review by Steve and Amy from the Nuclear Family, so a big thank you to them. Uh, Amy also made my own little camo cover for gas mask hoses, so that's cool. I'll be keeping that for um, my actual proper gas masks. Um, but obviously, this is one where I'll be reviewing this to, um, for them and sending it back. So, this has come with a lithium battery in it, but... Um, I think what Steve does is provide you with one of these, and that's um, basically a, I think, 8 cell AA adapter to make it work like one of those lithium batteries. So basically it plugs in as though the lithium battery would, so you can power it on regular batteries. Um, but the default batteries C420s use are basically like these. So I'll just explain the layout of the C420. It's very simple. You've got an on-off switch up there. You've got your two filter holes there, so you need to really run it with two filters ideally. You've got um, your battery compartment there. You've got a port that unscrews there for the sort of battery charging port, or you know, running it off of the um, auxiliary power, a bit like with the German unit I showed, so like the vehicle base cigarette lighter adapter. And then you've obviously got your hose which you connect to it to connect to your mask. So let me assemble it all together, and I'm gonna be using lithium battery included rather than the um, battery adapter for this one, and then you can see it in action. So there we go, that's the C420 assembled. We won't need the instruction booklet, but this is included. Pretty thick, useful instruction booklet, I guess, but you know, personally, I don't need that. So it looks a bit like a little jetpack type thing, doesn't it? So, as I said, the C420 is pretty damn well built in terms of ergonomics. It's probably the reason the design's caught on so well. So you can see what it looks like there. So basically, you'd wear this like a belt, You'd flick that on with this bit plugged into your gas mask, and then you've got your air coming out there. So obviously air going in through the filters, air coming out there. So let's put it inside a mask and actually test it. Okay, so let's flick this on. Now if you're wondering why I'm not standing up, it's simply because I need to adjust this NATO belt to my size, and for doing this for one video there's not really much point. So let me flick this on. Yeah, and it's very easy to breathe. So there you go. This isn't actually a um, positive pressure only respirator. It's one of those Scott, is it M110s? Basically the M95 without the drinking tube. But yeah, that provides a very good airflow. And as you can see, the pack isn't that big and heavy compared to some PAPR units. So, you know, you could have that on a webbing belt. Well, that's basically what it is on there, but obviously you want to adjust that to your size. But I can certainly see why C420s are popular. And I think the main thing seems to be with this is it's not all that loud, as you can probably hear. Which is probably the big military appeal, I would imagine, before, behind the C420. That you're not going to hear it from too far away. It doesn't sound like a vacuum cleaner on steroids like some PAPR units sound like. So yeah, that's a very good amount of airflow. So what I'm going to do now, of course, is get out the Seed Gorman mask that struggles to work with a lot of PAPR units. With the German unit, I actually have to put on to full speed to be able to comfortably unit. it. So let's see what the airflow is like that, but with this on, it's very comfortable. You know, I can breathe easily, obviously no resistance because it's doing it for me. And it's obviously going through two filters, not just one. And the nice thing is obviously uh, the cool, fresh air hitting you in the face, which I think is probably one of the nicest features of the PAPR unit. It stops you getting all sweaty and horrible. So anyway, let's switch the uh, mask for one that actually needs um, a decent amount of positive pressure. So again, to flick it off, all you do is flick that switch down. Nice and simple. So, there we go. As you can see, I've got the... Um weird Sieb Gorman mask on this system and the nice thing with the PAPR pipe on this or the hose on this one is it's got one of those hoses that can swing around a fair bit so basically you can have this tight but you can still get the hose to swing with your head which is actually quite a nice feature so anyway let's get this on and tighten up okay now let's flick on the PAPR
Yeah, there we go, right. It's starting to um, equalize the pressure inside the mask. So as you can hear when I um, breathe out, the valve opens fine. When I'm talking, you can probably hear a little bit of um, air pressure escaping from the mask. That's pretty normal, because that's how that thing there works. But it's certainly not fogging up, which means it's opening the valve when it needs to. So that's good. Imagine if I hold my breath for long enough, the air will start escaping on its own. Let's try that. Right, I think what it actually starts doing is escaping from that gap there, rather than the nose bit. So let me tighten the other straps up, then we'll try that again. I won't bother doing the top straps. Yeah, there's a tiny bit of air escaping from there now. I can feel it on my hand, so yeah. That works surprisingly well. Now interestingly, you can hear the fans rev up and down a bit as I breathe. That's quite interesting. So yeah, as I said, how this would attach you, you can obviously attach it in different ways using different belts and systems, but the preferred way of using this is basically to go on you as a belt. So what I'll do is I'll show you what it would look like even though I won't fully tighten the belt up. Now as you can probably see, as much as I'm not really thin, uh, there's quite a lot of room on this belt and I'm not going to fully tighten up this webbing belt right now. But what it does is you put the clasps shut on there. There it is. And then you know, tighten it and grab it in front, on the side, behind you, whatever. And it will work absolutely fine in any of those way rounds. So that's it. That's the C420. I can certainly see from using this why it's held in such high regard by a lot of people. And I think that is simply just because it's not too heavy, not too bulky as in the layout, you know, it's quite triangular, but it's not, you know, too bulky in any direction, you know, not too heavy, not too bulky, and um, provides a good amount of airflow without being too loud. So that's probably why it's a gold standard. Right, what I'm going to hopefully demonstrate now is using this with its belt. So I've put a police armoured vest on just simply for the sake of um, giving me a bit more bulk and showing it obviously working over equipment. So if we get the strap, now how well you can see this on camera I don't know. I might actually have to loosen this slightly now I've got my Kevlar belt on. Um, not Kevlar belt on, Kevlar jacket on. So give me a second while I <laughs> loosen this back up. I tightened it and then found out, oh... I shouldn't have tightened it that much, so one second. Right, there we go. That's on there now. That's a bit tight, but that's how I've got it. So, um, as you can see, the PAPR unit is there like that. So let's see now. Can I get this screwed into the um, mask and um, essentially working without being able to see the unit, as in flick it on behind my back, which I'm sure I will be able to, but it was be an interesting test. So here we go, let's use the Seed Gorman mask again. So get that on. Get the harness to the right area. There we go. You can already see it's heading up because the papper isn't on yet. So let's see if I can find the switch behind my back. There we go. So there you are, that's it on its belt attached to me. I think that's now slipping under the police vest, isn't it? So it's now actually at the proper sort of tightness of my waist rather than the body armour. But obviously you can adjust that with a proper webbing belt on it, that's not really an issue. So as you can see, that makes it very easy to just walk around with this on. Obviously as I said, I'd adjust this a bit more to my size in actual preference, but you know, the point is that having the PAPR on with like that, you can walk around, move your arms, there's no issue. It's doing all the work for you. So obviously having it with the belt set up is ideally how this is meant to be used to be as practical as possible. I guess you can actually just put the PAPR unit in the satchel as well. You know, a bit like a gas mask satchel. That would also work. 
Now, what I want to do before I finish this video is test how well it works on this mask, but using the AA battery adapter rather than the uh, original lithium cell. So here we go, PAPR on my back again. Here's the original lithium battery. And as you can see, that's demisting and I'm having the cool air come in. So yeah, using the battery adapter to take eight AA batteries is working completely fine. So I'm using the lithium AA's from um, the PAPR I was sent before, the German one, which took ten. So I'm using eight of those in that uh, battery adapter. I think that might actually be, pro be providing a bit more energy than this one. But that might be because this one's drained a bit, I don't know. So, you know, this might have lost some of its voltage and milliamps or whatever. And the, um, you know, the double A's might be providing a bit more power at the moment. So, there you go. So, thanks to Steve and Amy from the Nuclear Family for sending me this. As I said, they are getting sent this back. But I've at least had a chance to play around with a C420 now. And I can see the appeal of them. You know, because you can fit them with a belt or rucksack straps or whatever and attach them to your equipment quite easily. And they provide quite a good amount of airflow without being really, really loud. So there's that. So I can see why it is the NATO sort of gold standard PAPR unit. Again, obviously, prices of PAPR units vary, so if you're getting one, look into what you actually need from a PAPR unit and get one that's in your price range, because obviously some of them, you know, the C420 is more of like a military spec sort of operator type unit. You know, it's not necessarily if you're sitting in your house in some sort of fallout shelter using a PAPR unit. You probably wouldn't need one as good as a C420. Obviously, you could get a C420. There's nothing stopping you, but, you know. Um, bear in mind that the prices and, like, airflow of all these PAPR units and noise reflect sort of how professional they are, in a sense. So the more airflow moved at the least sort of um, noise limit possible is generally what makes, you know, a more expensive PAPR unit. Whereas if you've got one that's very bulky and heavy, and is quiet, or, you know, vice versa, is a bit fragile and moves a good amount of air, but, you know, you wouldn't, t you know, test, trust it to be up for the job for, you know, military spec things. That's probably why those are the cheaper units. Side by side with the German unit, this one is definitely quieter. Um, this runs probably either somewhere between the two speed settings on the German one. So I think on top speed, the German one moves a bit more air, but um, obviously this just runs on the one speed setting. And this provides easily enough air to even make a, you know, a heavy use PAPR mask like this work properly without fogging up or anything else. So the C420 definitely does its job because I'm actually able to use a C Gorman mask with it. Um, so yeah, the C420 is definitely good. I can understand the appeal of them. Probably a bit out of my budget though for the time being, especially if I'm saving for that bunker.